In this class, we are going to look at the second example on fundamental particles. And it says, a particle lives for a time to travel a distance comparable to the range of nuclear force. Assuming the size of the nucleus is 2 femtometer and the speed of the particle is 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Estimate I the lifetime of the particle in seconds. I I the minimum necessary uncertainty in joules and the mass equivalent of energy in kilogram. So for us to solve that example, we have to first list the quantities given to us and then we pick a suitable expression which will enable us to solve that example. So we now go back to the equation and the first quantity given was change in T. What is this change in T? The lifetime of the particle change in T equals to equation sign. We were asked to find the lifetime of the particle and in the statement, it says, assuming the size of the nucleus is 2 femtometer, the size of the nucleus, call it the radius, is 2.0 femtometer. Now, what is this femto? This is the same thing as 10 to the power minus 15. So these are values that we should always memorize. If assuming in place of this femto it was micro, then we will always know that we are going to substitute 10 to the power minus 6. Assuming it was n nano then we, we would have used 10 to power minus 9 and all of that. But in this case, we come in. In this case, we were given the value femto. So we are going to interpret that as 10 to power minus 15. Okay, we now look at the next quantity which was given, the speed of the particle. So the speed of the particle C is equals to 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Of course, this is the speed of light in a vacuum. And I said we should estimate the lifetime of the particle. But before I solve that, I can as well see that we were given the reduced Planck constant. So the reduced Planck constant is equals to 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 34 joule seconds. Okay. Remember that speed equals to distance all over time taken. And if we are to make Time, the subject in this expression, we will have that time equals to distance all over the speed, S. 
Okay, so in this example, we are going to use the change in t. And in place of distance, we are going to substitute the value. I don't know. And in place of the speed s, we are going to substitute the value c. So here we will use c here, and here we will use I don't know. So the expression which we are going to use is not different from the normal expression that we know. So let me go down to this point and we have that change in t equals to r not all over c. What is the value of r not 2.0 times 10 to the power minus 15 meters divided by C 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. When we divide through, then we have change in t equals to 2.0 all over 3.0 times 10 to the power minus 15 minus 8 from indices. So the division line here changes to negative sign. When we simplify this, We now get change in t equals to 2 divided by 3 will give us 0 0.667 from my calculator times 10 and then minus 15 minus 8 will give us minus 23 so we have that the lifetime of the particle change in t equals to 6.67 if I move this decimal point here one place yes yeah, so we will now have 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 1 minus 23 which is the same thing as change in t equals to 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 24 seconds so that is the solution to the first option the lifetime of the particle and the second one said the minimum necessary uncertainty change in E the minimum necessary uncertainty For us to find the minimum necessary uncertainty, remember that from the uncertainty principles, we have this expression Okay, so the 
value here represents the or the expression here represents the reduced Planck constant and here we have the energy and here we have the the time as well the estimated time or the lifetime of that particle which we have been able to solve for now if we are to make E or change in E the subject of the expression then we will have that change in E equals to reduce plan constant all over change in T and from the equation the reduced Planck constant is given and this is 1.054 times 10 to power minus 34 joules seconds divided by the time that we have estimated which is six point six seven times ten to power minus twenty four seconds. Of course, I've seen that the seconds here will cancel. The one at the numerator will cancel the one at the denominator. So whatever the expression will give us would give us the answer in joules. So change in E is equals to 1.054 divided by 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 34 plus 24. The reason why we have plus here is because there is a negative sign here. There is a negative sign here and the negative sign, this division sign in indices is also negative. So when you multiply the negative sign of the division line and that of the index gives you a positive value. Okay, so that's how we got the plus 24. And of course, this expression will now reduce to change in E equals to if I divide 1.054 by 6.67 I will now get this expression 0 0.16 0 0.16 times 10 to the power minus 34 plus 24 will give us minus 10 now there is a decimal point here if i move this to this point i will get minus 11 as my index so now my final expression here would be 1.60 times 10 to the power minus 11 joules of energy Okay, so the minimum necessary uncertainty change in E is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 11. The next option said we should find the mass equivalent. The mass equivalent. Before we go straight to the point, 
let's recall that the lifetime of the particle the lifetime of the particle change in t we were able to get it or solve for it and we had 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 34 seconds and change in E minimum necessary uncertainty we obtain it to be 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 11 joules so the mass equivalent is gotten from the expression E equals to mc square if we are to make m the subject then we will have change in m equals to change in e all over c square what is the value for the e 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 11 divided by the c the speed of light in the vacuum which was given to be 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second and here we have c squared so we are going to square this which is the same thing as 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 11 divided by this index here outside the bracket will be used to multiply everything inside the bracket what I mean is that the index here will affect this number 3 and it will also affect this number 8 all right that means that If I square 3 here, I will get 9 times 10 to the power 8 times 2 is 16. We now move down to the next step. Change in M, the mass equivalent equals to 1.6 divided by 9 times 10 times 10 to the power minus 11 minus 16 when we divide 1.6 by 9 that's what I just did on my calculator. So this is what I have. 0 0.17 times 10 to the power minus 11 minus 16 gives us minus 27. There's a decimal point here. If I move this decimal point to this point, then the index minus 27 changes to minus 28. So we will now have our answer, the mass equivalent to be 1.70 times 10 to the power minus 28 kilogram i think we have come to the end of today's class i really appreciate your stay i would like you to encourage us by clicking on the subscription button thank you and have a wonderful day bye